Hey everyone, just wanted to cut a quick message for you just to tell you thanks and show you about our, our new family that we've started. This is my wife Ashley, if you've never met her before, and she's the one that, that did all the work, I think, for, for the labor. But we've really enjoyed reading all your, your comments on Facebook and Twitter during the whole thing. It's been, it's been quite, quite a journey. So this is our little guy. He's asleep now. His name's Graham. I won't wake him up because he's going to wake up in the middle of the night. But he's just chilling right now. Right, buddy? He looks kind of like me a little bit, but he has her lips, I think, right? Yeah. So, how was it? How was labor? Not as bad as I thought it would be. Yeah, wasn't too bad, huh? No. So, uh, I thought we'd take a look back and uh, just share with you guys kind of how the night went down. So, I got home from work late at night, and we started timing our contractions. We actually used a really cool app on iPad that timed them. And then we left to go to the hospital. We waited about two hours or so. Were those first contractions pretty bad? They were okay. I started having them while you were at work, so I got yeah. to call you and tell you that I thought I was in labor. Yeah, and I really wasn't sure what to expect when I got home. I was ready to go to bed, but that wasn't the case. So we drove to the hospital, and we got there at about 1 in the morning or mm -hmm. so, and then we got checked into our room. Uh, then the contractions became pretty regular, and they had a meter up on the wall that showed when she was having a contraction, and uh, it showed the top line, too, as Graham's heartbeat, and the bottom line was, was her heartbeat, and that went on for a long time, it seemed like. Yeah, for a few hours. Mm -hmm. Then Ashley's water broke at about 4.30, and at 4.30, um, things picked up a little bit more. And then at 7 o'clock in the morning, that's when um, Dr. Torres came in, and he actually let me help deliver him, which was really, really cool. I wasn't sure if I had the stomach for it, but... Yeah, but from 7 to 9, it was pretty tough. It was. It was hard to do. So, And then here's the first shot to baby Graham when he first came out. He was a little bit scared, it looks like, and he, I had just cut his umbilical cord, and... We weighed him, and they were measuring him and everything, and he was screaming, and I really didn't know what was going on. But then uh, after that, um, we were pretty much, our family came in. You can see pictures of uh, me and my dad taking pictures with Graham, and we actually named um, Graham's middle name. is after my dad, uh, Leonard Neal, so Graham Leonard Neal. We picked the name Graham. Um, the root word of Graham means abide or abode, and that's one of our um, words from actually a scripture in the Bible from John 15, which is uh, abide in me. So... We, that was one of the reasons we picked Graham, and uh, if you can remember my dad too, he's actually he's down in Houston this week going through some um, chemo treatment. He got diagnosed with brain cancer, so he's been down there um, working on that. But we got him home from the hospital. We took him home, and I drove home good, which wasn't yeah. bad. Yes, he did. That was great. Yeah, and the car seat was an experience trying to get him in the car seat because I wasn't sure how to do that. Um, so we drove home from the hospital, and then we were up all night for the last two nights. Not all night, I guess. It wasn't too bad. No, we got a couple hours to Yeah, sleep. it wasn't too bad. He likes to party all night, though, and then sleep all day. So this is Graham, I guess, in one of his midnight rants where he's just looking at us. And um, and then this weekend, we had his picture made. So that was a lot of fun, and he did pretty good in there. The trick to getting his baby's picture is just to turn the temperature up a lot. And it was very hot, especially for a mother who just gave birth. Yes, it was a little warm. It was about 85 degrees, but he got through it pretty well. But a great photographer. Yeah. So that's a little bit about our journey. Thank you guys so much for letting us share it with you. And I look forward to coming back to work uh, pretty soon in the next week. And I don't know, this little guy, he doesn't give me a whole lot of sleep during the week. But it's not as bad as severe weather, I guess, right? Maybe. No, I think it's actually better than severe weather. <laughs> it's actually weather. a little bit better than the We're severe weather We're actually getting more season. sleep. I know, isn't that crazy? With benefits. Yeah. <laughs> so, but anyway, this is the little guy. And I'll be sharing a little bit more with you a little bit later. You waking up? Nah, he's not going to wake up till 3 or 4 in the morning. So, anyway, thanks again, guys, and I look forward to seeing you back on TV soon. Thank you.